Trifles are basically layered desserts um, that I normally do in a trifle dish, which this is this gorgeous gl glass dish on a pedestal um, that you can pick up very inexpensively. But they're, I, I come up with a million different flavors. I do a lemon blueberry um, for the 4th of July and those patriotic summer holidays. I do an all-American berry trifle with fresh raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, angel food cake. Um, I do a Reese's peanut butter trifle. I do uh, just... I, you know, I, I'm always coming up with different ones, chocolate raspberry. So for St. Patty's Day, I, I knew I had to come up with something that had some green in it and chocolate and mint. So this is what I came up with, and it's so, so easy. I have, uh, you know, went ahead and layered it in a beautiful trifle dish, but I want to show you if you don't have one of those dishes or you want everyone to get their own, which is extra special, which I, I think I'm going to do for this um, dinner party that I'm having on Sunday night, is to do little mini trifles. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick up your favorite box brownie mix. Make it according to package directions. Sometimes I'll add one extra egg for more cake-like brownies, uh, but you don't, you, or you could even do a devil's food cake, but I really like the fudgy brownies. And when you bake them in a nine by 13 pan, you want to line the pan with foil. And so that the, sometimes it's just, a, it's a bugger to get the brownies out of the pan. Um, and this makes it so easy to get them out because you want to be able to take them out and cut them into cubes. So if you overlap the pan with foil, spray the foil really well with cooking spray, you're golden. And then you have no dish to wash here. And we can cut these up into cubes, no problem. Baking spray, yes, we love baking spray. Cooking spray will work, but baking spray is kind of new on the market and it's really great for baking. Okay, so now that our brownies are cooled and baked according to package directions, you could also cheat and buy brownies already done in the bakery if you wanted to. I get it. And I'm going to save no. the ends for you. Okay, then fine, I'll have them. And depending if you're going to do a larger trifle, you can do these in bigger pieces. If you're going to do a smaller trifle, I'm going to cut these into little bite-sized pieces. And anyone can do this. It's just a matter of layering these guys. So basically, I'm going to take our little brownie cubes and wine glasses, martini glasses, even clean ball canning jars, even clear plastic cups if you've got a big group. So I'm gonna drop in the bottom of our little mini trifle dishes a few cubes of brownies. Whatever your favorite is, whatever's on sale. They are perfect brownies. Anne is all excited. She normally burns the brownie. But today she didn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so pr pretty exciting. Got to give you a hard time. It's St. Patty's Day coming up. Okay, so brownies in. And if you're making a big trifle, you're going to do lots of different layers. Now we're going to get on layer, uh, layer number two, chocolate pudding. So this is just really easy, just instant chocolate pudding. Mix that with some milk. So just follow the box directions. If I'm making a big trifle, I do, just depends on how many you're going to do, I do two boxes with three cups of cold milk. Here I've got our Lamer's, wonderful, we love our Lamer's milk. We'll do one and a half cups, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Whisk that together. And as it sits, it'll thicken up a little bit. So, Mr. Pudding, I will get back to you. And you want to lick the beater? No, I do not. No, you do not. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move this aside so you can see a little bit more. Anne is really being well behaved. She is getting in shape and trying to lose weight, and she's doing fantastic. We're really excited for her. Okay. And she gets all mad when I tempt her. Now we're going to make a mint whip topping and I'm going to keep it very very simple by just cheating and using some Cool Whip. You could certainly make homemade whipped cream. That would be fantastic too. So just going to take a little bit of whipped topping and you want to make sure that you let this thaw. This is a little bit frozen. So make sure you let it thaw in the refrigerator overnight if you're buying this little bit of green food coloring. 
And boy, let me tell you, this stuff is deadly, so you can get all over. I like to keep it a very minty green. And a little dab will do you on this peppermint extract. It's one of those things where if you go overboard, it's not a good thing. This stuff is super duper strong. So you just want a nice, mild, minty flavor. And I'm looking for the fresh mint. Is it in the fridge? Yep. Okay, whoops. I want a little more green than that. And it's up to you how green you want to make it. What do you think? Greener? Yep. All right. Good? Ann says more. All right, we'll do one more. Ooh, now I think I went green overboard. We'll see. There. Perfect. Okay. You don't really want a Kelly green. You want it more of a minty. This is perfect. Okay. Now, I also have some chocolate mint baking chips. So we're going to throw some of those just for a little crunch again into our trifle. Or as I said, martini glass. These happen to be just little juice glasses. Um, but wine glasses, uh, there's so many different things that you can put your trifle, layer your trifle into, but very much on trend at all the big fancy restaurants to get your own dessert. And so people are now doing that at home at, you know, when you're entertaining to get everybody their own dessert. Or if you're doing a buffet, the, the large trifle looks gorgeous too. So we're going to take some pudding. Now one of the things with the trifle is that you don't want to mix the ingredients together. You want to see the pretty layers. So I'm putting some pudding in there and trying not to get it all over the glass. A Ziploc bag or a piping bag works really nice if you've got you know, a smaller opening on your glass. In fact, I'm going to pipe the whipped cream on top, and you'll see how that works. If you're trying to get this mixture into a glass with not, without you know, getting all over the glass. OK, so now, at this point, what I do is I cover these individual with plastic wrap, and I get them into the fridge. Or if I'm doing a big one, I do the layers several different times, the brownies, the pudding, the mint whip topping. And then I put a uh, piece of plastic over the big trifle or the little guys and get them into the refrigerator. They're, these are total make ahead. Morning of your party or even the night before your party. Um, get this done, get it out of the way. Then you run back to the kitchen right before you're ready to serve these guys. And you can have this already in your piping bag. And you finish out the dessert with what I call is a nice big cloud of whipped topping. So in the case of the big trifle, I just use a spatula and put a nice big cloud of the green mint topping on the top. And the little guys, because I really want to, you could certainly just do a nice spoon, a dollop, but I really want this to look pretty, so I'm just going to use, just you can cut off the end of a, you know, the corner of a Ziploc bag or if you have a big piping tip. But this is when I run back to the kitchen and, and do this. And then you decorate the top of the trifle with one of these nice big Andes mints for presentation. It looks so pretty. And then you can do some fresh mint, too. And the fresh mint is one of those things that you really can't put on too much before because it really wilts. And it's optional. You don't have to do it, but it really does look pretty. So um, our trifle here, we can put a nice big sprig of mint. And then our little guys, we can find some littler pieces of mint just to kind of decorate it up. So there you go, chocolate mint trifles, a really fun dessert to do really any time, but especially fun to do around St. Patty's Day. And by the way, recipe for this is on the website, real easy to make. I hope you make it.